Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that is a 1987 four-wheel drive Chevrolet pickup truck. She was born with a 350 in her, and she's got a 350 in her now, and it has got a great look and lift kit on it. I'll tell you what, absolutely beautiful. Now, the grill looks like it's original to the truck, got a couple marks in it, still in great shape. The chrome on the front bumper looks like it's brand new. Now, these hooks right here are for pulling your buddies out of the mud hole when you get hung up and you take this baby through up with them 35s in that lift kit, man. I tell you what, she is looking sweet. Now, in 1987 through 89, the designation for four-wheel drive was a V. This does have the V and the code, so it was born a four-wheel drive. She is looking sweet. I mean, that side view is killer. I love the color of the paint. Just everything about this thing is sweet. I tell you what, I can't wait to get it out in the mud, but of course I'm not gonna do that. Look at the red interior there, looking beautiful. And you see that? It's a stick too, guys. How many of these came with a manual transmission? Probably not very many of them. Most of them were automatic, so you get to shift gears in this baby. Get in there and play big truck driver with this thing, man. Shifting gears, having fun, throwing some mud. Get it out in the dunes, take it to the ice cream shop, wherever you want to go. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's going to draw a crowd no matter where you go. I don't care, take it to a four-wheel drive meet, take it to a car show, anywhere you want. Now the chrome on the back bumper looks like it's brand new. The trim on the tailgate, again, looks like it's original to the truck and it's in beautiful shape. I mean, don't forget, 1987. And look at the bed in here. Now it's got a nice bed liner on it that is color coded to the truck, looking sweet. You can see they were hauling some things around in it. So if you want to uh, take this, put your dirt bikes, your four wheelers in the back of this thing and head to the dunes and have some fun, this is your truck right here. And then you can see it's got the sliding back window also. When you look down the passenger side, they did a beautiful job on the paint job. I'll tell you what, and then the aluminum wheels on this baby just set it off and looking sweet. Now, all of our vehicles here at Vanguard Motor Sales are owned by Vanguard. We don't do any consignment whatsoever, so you know we do our homework before we buy them. The first thing that happens to every vehicle is they go up on the lift and they get inspected so we can answer every one of your questions and we can take pictures and do a video at the bottom so you know exactly what your dream's gonna look like when we park it in your driveway. Let's take this baby for a ride. Let's go see if we can find a sand dune or a mud hole or something. Find somebody hung up in the ditch. Pull them out. Have some fun. You got to keep yourself a uh, big old cable or big old strap in the back of this thing. Make sure you got something to pull your buddies out of the ditch when they need. I'll tell you, when I was a kid, I had a Jeep. I had, I don't know, I think I had uh, 31s on it or something. And, I had a hole, that was before straps were around. That's a long time ago, guys. <laughs> I had a milk crate full of chains. I must have had about four chains in there and a come along because I couldn't afford a winch. Might want to get a winch for this thing too. Might have to pull your buddies out of the, uh, tie this thing to a tree, get your big old winch, pull your buddies out of the mud. I'll tell you, I had a lot of fun with my Jeep. Just be careful about driving into uh, little lakes or little mud holes. I drove that Jeep off in a mud hole one time. It was about six feet deep. The hood was underwater. I lift the hood and just the carburetor thought was sticking out of the uh, water. So I was actually able to drive it out of there. But I tell you what, I thought I really screwed up. Somebody must have taken a backhoe out there and dug that hole. 
Now, as you can see down here on the dash, it's got an aftermarket radio in it. The speedo's working. Looks like the gas gauge is working there. Oil pressure, uh, water temperature, uh, the uh, volt gauge also. Um, and of course, you did notice that it is a, a four-speed. It's really a three-speed because it's got a, a creeper gear in it. So if you need to uh, pull somebody out of the ditch, you're going to want to put it in the creeper gear. And you got to come to just about a complete stop. Like I got it in creeper gear right now. This semi truck. We might just push the semi truck out into traffic. We got enough power. Now he's got the flashers on. Now what are you doing, Jack? Well, looks like we're going around him. Oh, now he's going to go. Now that I'm going to go around him. Who knows what these guys are doing? Here we go, starting out in creeper gear. So it goes pretty good. Now we're in first. Sounding good too, love the exhaust system on it. Sticking in second, good. Now if you'd like to come visit us, we would love to have you. We're right outside the Motor City here. If you need to fly in, the airport's real close, so come on in. And now we are about to do something nobody does to all their vehicles, especially 1987 four-wheel drive pickup trucks. We're going to put this baby up in the air so you can check out the bottom side of it too. And it is clean, guys. So stick with us. We're back at the shop now at 15100 Keel Street. All right, we're underneath the truck now, and man, she's nice and clean on the bottom too. You can see it's got brand new exhaust. It's got uh, some chrome tips welded on here, some Rancho shocks. Um, now on the brakes, the guys pull those all apart and make sure they're in good working order. We got a heavy duty uh, case cover here, and uh, this baby actually puts pressure on the main caps there to make it uh, a little stronger. Uh, we do have a limited slip, and it is uh, right around, uh, I gotta look at my notes here, 325 gear in there. Uh, you can see it's got a big old Flowmaster muffler on it looking good. Looks like it's got a new tank also. Uh, actually, it's dual tanks. They see two tanks underneath here. Transfer case has been all cleaned up looking good. Of course, the manual transmission we talked about out in the drive. Everything's looking sweet under here. It does have a hydraulic clutch. Same gear up front. We got stabilizers up here on the steering. It's got actually dual stabilizers. Of course, the chrome on the front bumper's looking good. Then we got these babies. Really set off the look. We got those beautiful aluminum wheels. It does have a uh, lockout hub set up on it. These are 35s, so remember, right? Yeah, 35, 12 and a half, um, 15s. You can see that gray paint looking good. You can see the pinch weld on the rocker also looking good. And of course, the uh, rear wheels back here are the same size. Got the same good looking aluminum. Just looking sweet, man. We're gonna lower this baby down, see what's making the power. All right, under the hood here, we got the uh, 350 power. Uh, it does have fuel injection on it. You can see everything under here is nice and clean. The firewall's nice and clean. All the wiring's nice and neat. She is pretty. Uh, the inner fenders here look like they're new. I see some brand new um, stickers on here, so I believe those are new. The frame's all painted up looking good. Uh, the radiator actually looks like a rebuilt or a brand new unit too. It's a cross flow radiator. Bottom side of the hood's all painted up looking good, and I see uh, stickers over there too. Is that a GM sticker there? Yes, it says General Motors on there. So for that sticker to still be on there, and man, I'll tell you what, someone took good care of this thing throughout the years. So let's give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales Park this dream in your drive.